Once you become a huge star and start making bank, it's generally assumed that your life changes completely. But what if that fame and fortune didn't alter your life all that much? Here are some celebs who have managed to live like normal people. She might be one of the most successful writers of all time, but J.K. Rowling hasn't forgotten where she came from. According to Spiegel Online in 2012, the Harry Potter author continued living in her hometown of Edinburgh post-fame and said of her daily life, One could even call it boring, but that's what I like about it. I love cooking and I like being at home. No one who knows me personally knows me as J.K. Rowling. In my private life, I use my husband's last name. Although the author admitted to being overwhelmed by the sudden and extreme change in her circumstances, Rowling has remained thankful for her good fortune. She said, I wrote a book that I thought was a good book, that's all. Rowling has since set up a foundation to ensure her money is well managed. The author is so generous, in fact, that according to HuffPost, she dropped off the Forbes billionaire list thanks to her considerable charitable donations. Comedian and actress Tiffany Haddish broke out in a big way with her scene-stealing turn in Girls Trip. But Haddish was famously living in her car at one time before she found fame. Now, back in the day, I didn't have a place to stay. I was living in my car, but I was staying in Beverly Hills because I'm classy. In fact, she was apparently still driving a busted-up car until director Tyler Perry gifted her a Tesla in 2018. And as she explained to People in 2017, she's still afraid of losing it all, claiming, I'm probably going to be cheap with my money for a long time. You know I've been homeless, so it's like, yeah, it's here now, but will it be here in five years? I have coupons and they're about to expire. Haddish has appeared in ads for Groupon, and as noted by Ranker, she famously rewore her $4,000 Alexander McQueen gown to several high-profile events, telling anybody who would listen that she intended to get her money's worth. Everybody's like, Tiffany, you're a celebrity now. Why do you still use Groupon? Aren't you worried if people will think you're cheap? Shut up, Amber! Surprisingly, singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran is even more normal than his laid-back wardrobe would suggest. He told the Irish Examiner in 2014 that he frequently hits up Amazon deals, claiming, You never want to be wasteful. I don't spend much money. I get an allowance. When pressed about exactly how much cash Sheeran allows himself per month, he guessed just over $1,000, noting most of it is spent on taxis, presumably zipping around London or LA, where he frequently crashes at the pads of famous pals like Courtney Cox. It's a serious upgrade for someone who, by his own admission, often slept on the London too between gigs. People say, right. oh, he's real or whatever. Right. I think it's just being beaten down all the time. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey's laid-back, Californian surfer dude quality has been apparent ever since his first film appearance in Dazed and Confused. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. And the actor has continued to cultivate a persona at odds with Hollywood, beginning with the fact that he doesn't even live there. The Texan native who's based in Austin says, I just feel at home there. A mile feels like a mile, 60 minutes feels like an hour, and a day feels like 24 hours. A relationship with time is important to me. McConaughey keeps a trailer in Malibu, too, but it's not as swanky as you'd expect. As the actor told The Guardian in 2017, It's as stripped down as it gets. I live in my trailer. I wake up and I've got a pair of pajamas and one pair of pants. I have a singular focus. The only actor on the planet in danger of stealing McConaughey's crown of being the most laid-back person in La La Land is Keanu Reeves. The notoriously generous thespian is such a nice dude that he inspired a ranker piece charting all the times he's done the right thing, even though he didn't really have to. At the heart of it, he's just like a good, wholesome guy. For instance, he donates millions to charity on a regular basis, according to 22 Words, and is known for riding the New York subway and even giving up his seat for other passengers. In a 2017 interview with Esquire, Reeves dodged questions about how beloved he is, saying, whatever, I'm just a normal guy, man. She's an Oscar-winning actress and one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. But Julia Roberts has her priorities in order. She's made her approach to child-rearing clear, telling Good Housekeeping, I think some people confuse unconditional love with spoiling. None of my kids would think I have a problem with that distinction. So, I mean, I usually, you know, have breakfast and dinner with my kids every day. Likewise, the actress was quick to inform Harper's Bazaar she doesn't have a cook or a butler, preferring instead to get her hands dirty in the kitchen, adding, I think people confuse the idea of having this fantastical job with somehow being a fantastical individual. If I wasn't here today, I'd be in the carpool lane fearing my kids to school. Is Julia Roberts the highest paid actress in the history of, oh, it's a long question, in the history of all humankind? <laughs> the answer is yes. It's not easy staying grounded when you're rich and famous. There's a lot of things that happen that change when suddenly people recognize you on the street. After inhabiting the role of Bridget Jones so perfectly, it appears Renee Zellweger might know a thing or two about living a modest lifestyle. In 2009, she told Glamour, 
I have immigrant parents who came to this country with nothing, and my dad worked his ass off to support our family. I've never gotten my self-esteem from having the newest, most spectacular thing. Even her Bridget Jones baby co-star, Deborah Gillett, praised Zellweger for her normalcy, telling Vogue, we were filming in the Aquatic Center in London's Olympic Village. There were no grand trailers or alternative arrangements made for the leading lady. She sat around on boxes eating her lunch out of a disposable carton like the rest of us. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.